This afternoon, we're learning new information about what the shooter did before opening fire and killing 49 people at Pulse nightclub. And this comes as City announces plans to help the families of those victims. We have live team coverage, so covering every angle of this story. We have CBS 4's Kerry Codd. He is live at the scene of the shooting with the latest on the investigation. Maribel Rodriguez has more on how the city is coming together. But we begin with CBS 4's Silva Harapetian. She is live in Port St. Lucie, where the shooter's father just spoke. Silva. Yeah, this has been an interesting day. This house behind me is where the shooter's father lives. He held a news conference about an hour ago. It lasted about 20 minutes, and he made a shocking announcement saying his son's actions were acts of terror. Why I draw the conclusion? I draw the conclusion because when I heard from the news that my son endorsed the ISIS, And he went on to say that his family had nothing to do with his son's actions and praised U.S. actions and efforts in the Middle East. He said he didn't know what his son was doing, that he had guns, and that he was influenced by an international terrorism group. His son, Omar Mateen, walked into the Pulse nightclub on Sunday morning and killed 49 people and wounded 53. Now his current wife, Noor Salaman, has been interviewed by the FBI and has told them that she knew about the attack and tried to stop her husband, Mateen's father. Father saying as a family they are in shock. He apologized to the families who have been affected. We all get affected. I am a victim of terrorism. I lost my son. This is the nightmare for a father or mother to lose a son and lose another 50 family members. They are my family. And the other 52 got injured. And back here live, he spoke for about 20 minutes. Uh, he dodged questions about the whereabouts of his daughter-in-law at this time. Uh, we're told she's in hiding because he says that she and the family has been getting threats. After the news conference, Port St. Lucie police escorted all of the media off the property. He's asked to be left alone for the rest of the day. And at this time, it's unclear if his daughter-in-law will be charged, although we are hearing reports that a grand jury has been convened to take up this matter. We're live in St. Lucie. Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News.